Allah Akbar. Are you scared to go to Pakistan? Mm, no, no. Ali Motorsports promises to keep up with the challenge to promote diversity in driving. Inshallah, um, I hope that we continue to race. I hope that uh, we're in NASCAR and that we're blazing new trails for minorities in this country and for Muslims in particular that we can show that we're not the people who are portrayed in the press and that people will get to know us and, and know that that we are different from what gets portrayed. Noor's father, Barakat Ali, says life is unpredictable, so he tries to make the best of every single day. If in one single day, ten times we met anywhere, we will hug each other. And when we leave the Sakud office, we hug each other. There are a lot of people who have been wandering around in our community, in our mosque and other areas. How come you guys meeting father and son so many times and hugging each other as if you guys have not seen each other for 10 years? I said, that's the value I'm keeping it in the family because I don't know whether this is my last hug. This could be my last hug, right? Who knows? Life is too short. When we talk to each other as many times, we always say, okay, beta, son, I love you. And the love of Noor's family is not just limited to Noor. How's his family with you? How's the family with me? Great. They're pretty awesome. I mean, they do, they treat me well and, you know, and Love them all together, all of them. You know. It's just wonderful, and they've embraced me as one of the family. And you think that's why his crew feels so much part of your family? He knows when he succeeds, uh, though the light will be shining bright on him, uh, it will be a success for all of us. Uh, for the whole team. For his whole team. Uh, first for his whole team, and then us. And I think that's, uh, that's what they're there for. They're there for the ride like we are. Can he make it? That's the big question right now. Even as we're producing this documentary, Noor Ali has already competed in another prestigious race, Carolina 200. ARCA Remax Series race at Rockingham Speedway in North Carolina in April of 2009. What would you want to say to people of other faiths in the U.S. and around the world who might be uncertain about the Muslim? You wouldn't buy the first car that you see on the lot, right? You wouldn't buy the first t-shirt you would see when you walk into a mall. So don't buy, and it's simple, like I said, life's pretty simple. Why are we making it all so confusing? Don't buy what the media sells you. Do your research, do your homework, get to know the people. I have more American friends than Muslim friends. Why is that? Oh, Because they know who I am and I know who they are. We're human beings. We're living in America, working, passion is motor cars brings us together, and that's it. There's no wars, no fighting, no, no issues with us, when, with me and the Americans that I'm with, or, or any other culture out there, or the Jew, uh, Jewish friends that I have, or the Hindu friends that I have. It's simple, passion for cars, passion for life, that's it. I have American friends that have become Muslims. I have American friends that are still Americans and Christians and use the word inshallah. Talking to Rebecca and Noor, we saw different kinds of Muslims here, not the kinds you usually see on mainstream television. They're hearing certain things about bombers and hatred, and that's not Islam. That's not the true Islam. And I would like for them to take the time to learn something and, and, and just open their minds. So this is kind of something that we do. Yeah, you got that right. I would like for Muslims to know that there are, there are people who can all get along together and to embrace one another and to, to just hold out their hands to, to one another and to the world. What would be your message to all the, young net, all the young race car drivers who want to be like Noor? 
What would be your message to them? You got a dream, and you, you have to work at it hard. You know? And Ali's family sees Noor on a long, non-stop journey towards NASCAR. Where do the three of you see Noor? NASCAR, Sprint Cup. I agree with Daytona you. Daytona 500, I Victory Lane. Yeah. I will support you. Yeah. I will yeah. second that. The cover of uh, Sports Illustrated. Yeah, that's why. That's where I see him. Inshallah. Inshallah. But as soon as I mentioned the word Pakistan to Robert, there was this hesitation. You think one day you and Noor and Noor Ali Sports would tour Pakistan? Possibly, yeah. I mean, he wants to take me over there, you know, someday, you know. Yeah, it'd be a cool thing to do. I mean, I don't know about going over there, but... <laughs> Are you scared to go to Pakistan? Mm, no, no. No, I'm not scared to go over there. It'd be a, it'd be a totally experience for me, you know, because I'm around him every day. You know, <laughs> you know I'm around him every day. Well, on behalf of Pakistan, I would like you to come to Pakistan and see how the people are there. I would like to go. You know, I would go. I had a chance, you know. Maybe an experience. <laughs> I would love to go to Pakistan. Noor believes that if he keeps pushing the pedal towards a NASCAR victory, one day he'll be standing in the victory lane. Where do you see Noor Ali five years down the road? Inshallah in NASCAR winning championships. Inshallah with a family of its own. Make my parents happy with grandkids. Um, and still racing hard. Five years from now, ask me the same question. I'll tell you the same thing 20 years from now. I'm around, I'm not going anywhere. That almost gets collected by the 45 car of Nur Ali. We will uh, get him tomorrow. For Muslims America, I'm Imran Siddiqui. And 